My name is Tim Morton and I'm the Senior Development Director for Command & Conquer. This Command & Conquer is starting with multiplayer and we're treating that as the proving ground for the balance and for all of the new mechanics that we had to build from the ground up in the Frostbite engine. From there, we're going to add additional game modes. We've already got some like this onslaught mode where waves of enemies attack you, but ultimately we also want to explore mini campaigns. So we will get back to some of the things that past Command & Conquer has offered, but we're just starting with multiplayer. Frostbite Engine started by attracting us with its visuals, and I think um, you know those come across right away, but as we got into building an RTS within Frostbite, we started to realize that there are all these emergent fringe benefits that the engine bring to us. One of those that appeared right away was the dynamic physics-driven destruction. Uh, it just brings a level of realism and even has some impacts on gameplay. But I think probably the biggest impact on gameplay is the back end of the client-server technology, where before players were limited by the slowest player's connection in the game, now you're completely untethered. So you your PC updates as quickly as it can and you're no longer susceptible to hacks and cheatings. For this Command & Conquer, the Generals universe is the starting point. So we've gone back to Generals, which came out almost 10 years ago now, re-implemented some of the same units but also added new ones, some of the same factions but also added new ones. Over time, we're going to add more factions, but we're also going to get back to revisiting the Tiberium universe, the Red Alert universe, and the door is open to completely new fictions in the future. We're going to start our beta testing in a closed environment early this year in the spring, and then we're hoping to go open by the end of the year based on the feedback that we get from our early beta testers.